veganism and plant agriculture are causing climate change. The first thing we need to acknowledge is that the climate change we're experiencing is not global warming, but global desertification. And yes, you've been told over and over and over that the primary driving force for climate change is cows, 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 but that is a lie, lie, lie. The truth about what's really causing climate change is plant agriculture. That's right, plant agriculture. Besides a total reliance upon petroleum, synthetic nitrogen fertilizer, mined potassium, mined phosphorus, pesticides, and slave labor, the vegan menu relies on the unbelievably destructive practice called tillage. The tillage required for the vegan menu is the primary cause for climate change. And today I'm going to explain to you why that's an absolute fact. Let's just ignore the fact that the machines required for veganism burn gargantuan amounts of petroleum, and let's address the fact that tillage causes the soil to become hydrophobic. Not only does tillage create something called plow pan, an impermeable layer of Teflon-like dirt just below the tillage depth, it also removes the valuable carbon from the soil and places it in the atmosphere. And while excess carbon in the atmosphere may have a minute impact on climate, the act of removing the carbon from the soil means that the soil can no longer absorb or hold water. Tillage aerates the soil, triggering increased biological activity, resulting in rapid decomposition, loss of soil organic matter, and the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Basically, tillage promotes the burning of organic matter. When the organic matter burns up, huge amounts of carbon are removed from the soil, which is a problem because carbon-depleted soils cannot absorb or hold water. So most rainfall runs off into local tributaries, and what little water does absorb quickly evaporates because there's no layer of organic litter left to help shade the soil from the sun and wind. Removing the healthy layer of organic litter also means the sun is now beating down directly onto the soil, causing the soil to become very hot, which kills the microbes required for healthy soil, and also because the soil is now incredibly hot, overwhelmingly strong, dry thermal winds blow straight up into the atmosphere, which burn off and chase off would-be rainfall events. This leads to lower overall precipitation for the region, making those who grow food for the vegan menu reliant upon aquifers that are now running perilously low. Meanwhile, the cow, if properly managed, is sequestering carbon from the atmosphere and putting it back into the soil where it belongs. This is a fact that the misanthropic vegan movement wants to keep hidden from you, because otherwise how are they going to enslave you into their genocidal malnutrition program? Please share this video with everyone you know, and thanks for watching.